All right, so we got a little treat for y'all, a little sample size for y'all, something a little different for y'all, 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 y'all. We're showing you the updated version of King. Are we? I ain't gonna lie, we got so many videos. Um, I gotta check. I gotta, like, fact check that. But, um, I think this is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, so, we have a bunch more videos. We have a bunch more videos, and we're just throwing this out there because, you know, you don't really get to see Chopper Leaders. You don't really get to see uh, the next match, uh, uh, Big Mom, you know? So, it's like, why not? Let's like, let's throw that out there. It must suck to have a different leader use your engine better than you. That's just, I don't know. But, um, yeah, just King one day, is it's just like, it just clicked. I feel like we should just grab... A tough decision between Kaido and what's his name? Yeah, I was gonna say probably don't need Kaido. Now that I think about it, like what big drops? So unless we want them to discard a card, probably didn't need the Kaido. But all in all, um, yeah, we just like I, I had an epiphany at one point in time, and it's been happening a few times lately with some decks, and I just be so happy when it does because it's like it all kicks in and blah blah blah. blah. So. I'm like, yo, what if the problem is the ramp? And then it's like, it's always been the ramp. That's just, no. What if the problem is the ramp? Like, okay, what are you trying to say right now? Well, what I was trying to say is that when you get to 10, that's all you need. It was, I felt like there was too much of a focus on ramping. And of course, a part of this is coming from watching many of videos. Many, many videos. Part of this comes from watching many videos. But um, <clears throat> so, you know, other content creators and w w what directions they've taken the deck. And that's, like I said, it just hit me. He is a, a top heavy leader, more so, I would say. He is a, what do you call it? A late game leader, you know? You're just dropping your bombs. Yeah. So at this point, Onigashima is for two serves two purposes to ramp you quickly so you can get to your 10 down state, but also to be able to um like refund some of your dawn. So if you have to use your leader ability, the damage won't be so severe. You know, so instead of going back a whole turn, you just cut that in half. And once you're there, the only thing you really need is your leader ability and whatever like engine your cards already provide for you so you y'all can experiment with this essentially take out any excess ramp cards just take it out you know and um what you call it just rely on your leader ability to well more so to draw that's probably what you're really going to do so you, but you're relying on leader ability to minus two if you need to but you let your cards do the destruction or the the minusing but yeah once you're at the 10 down state it's just your leader ability there's there's nothing else to it and that's the epiphany that i had so it just took out a lot of ramp cards and just left it at onigashima because you already got um you got onigashima itself you got Queen and you have um, the the event card. So essentially, your chain, your odds of catching Onigashima early, you know, in the first turn uh, on curve, is very high. Opening hand, yada yada. I was thinking of all the different ways to say it. Yeah, it's very high. And then um, at that point, Jack is hard to get off the board in general. And you use him plus your leader ability to just help control the board. Kaido is great because essentially, if you're only getting rid of a seven, then you're you're immediately going for the draw with the leader ability. But if you have to, you can go for the minus two to get something big off the board. But at some point in the game, the only thing you need to focus on is drawing with your with your leader ability. At some point, you're just gonna need to draw with it, right? Or you might not even need it at all. So if your leader ability is um, 
it just eats up two, then every other ramp card becomes completely irrelevant. It's like once you make it to your end game, and Onigashima already helps you do that. Once you make it to your end game, all your ramp cards become dead cards. So that's when it was just like, yo, okay, we need to what we need to be careful is to not eat four dawn. That's what we need to be careful is to not eat four dawn. As long as we're careful and not eating up four dawn, then we're relatively safe. But yeah, see, Onikashima can always help refund um, the one dawn. So <clears throat> yeah, I feel bad for the chopper leader. I, I, I feel bad. It, it, to me, it's like a bit of a slap in the face. And these are inanimate objects. They don't have feelings. But it feels like a bit of a slap in the face when you... you come out and some other leaders just using like all your cards and doing it way better than you but anyway back on track yeah so you you have the window of opportunity to eat up three dawn and that's it i think if you just that's your sweet spot for using this leader in his system you know so like already we just ramped up a full turn you know we didn't need any excess ramping shenanigans and then pretty soon since our boss card is a nine drop on the 10 Don turn, we just, you know, activate the rest of Don and then go for a play. So, yeah, that's it. I think every King deck, try it. Just, just, you just want Onigashima for, you know, for the beginning, you, you know? So, don't worry about all those ramping cards. Why we have Kid, by the way? Well, because it gives you the Don active. So it's like, a, you know, uh, taking advantage of the system. Uh, if you end, of course, if you don't get Onigashima, he's a backup to Onigashima. So that's another concept here. Like, we're not going that crazy, you know? So, because if there is a, a situation where you just don't get Onigashima, then at least you can get Kid. Dad, that, that board looking healthy. And the leader ability is live on the Big Mom's end. Yeah, this leader didn't really get much time to shine. And I always felt like she was wildly underrated. I felt like she just came out, like, be, being one of the early yellow leaders, people just couldn't understand how to truly take advantage of her. So I, I felt like that's where she, that's the reason why she uh, didn't really work out too well. But yeah, see, now we got an active Dawn, and that's, that works out lovely. Uh, we have five cards in hand, so we can use our leader ability to draw. Unless I don't see any shenanigan plays. Yeah, I don't see any shenanigan plays. So it'll probably just be uh, to go for the draw. Oh, it takes. So yeah, like I said, uh, Kuzan, Kuzan helps. Uh, going back to talking about the focus of the deck should basically be the effects of the, the KOing and the cost reduction. So Kuzan, he is the traditional boss of black cards. Like so so overall, which are once he hits the board, he's supposed to be that game changing. And I think he provides that for this leader. And you get a little bit of a combo, almost like a Z type of play. Um you play Kuzan and then you use your leader ability to draw one. So you really get to capitalize on that situation and then that's it it's like impossible not to take anything off the board when you have a kaido or when you have um what's it called a uh, jack so yeah that's it it's just that's, that's, that's how the system works so there's a lot of room there's actually a lot of room if you don't overly focus on certain things there's actually a lot of room in this uh, in this uh deck in this build because Jack is pretty decent. Kaido's pretty decent at what they do by default. And then your king leader helps it make it good or, you know, great. And then at that point, anything else is just um, icing. There you go. So hopefully y'all can experiment and, and see how that works out for y'all. Because it's been working out great for us. And like I said, we're about to... I'll show a gauntlet match next time I upload a video with this leader. So you can see it more flushed out. But that Big Mom board is nuts. Not gonna lie to y'all. 
So what are we looking at here? See the danger right now, if you play Kuzan, this, this has been the problem with Kuzan, I ain't gonna lie to y'all in general, is um, it's like by the time you're able to play him, it is not safe to play him. So that's been the problem with Kuzan. So that's, I wanna say that's kind of what this looks like. Cause the best we can do is get rid of a Kiku Nojo if we play Kuzan. And then nothing can attack the other Kiku Nojos, essentially leaving one up to attack us next turn and a big mom to try to attack us. Are we gonna go for a draw play? It would be risky to play our 2k counter, but it would allow us to pop a Kika Nojo if we was to go for a play like that. Then we'll get some active Dawn and then we'll off the swing. So it might be, it, it could potentially be a play where we can get two of the characters off the board. Uh, there's nothing available to us. Oh my God. I see. Oh, we went for the draw. I thought we was going to go minus two and then play. Okay, that's what I was thinking. And then play the jack and get rid of the big mom. But it didn't happen that way. It didn't happen that way. That would have been... That, would, that, that seemed like one of those plays where it's like a... You ever played like old Yu-Gi-Oh games or whatever? Where um you got to figure out how to win in that one turn. That's what it felt like right there. So we're scouting out the 10 drop play. That's what that was. And now we're deciding what's worth taking. <clears throat> okay, we got the blocker. Defense is going to definitely be key. Too bad we didn't have enough uh, counter power in hand. Oh, was that a a bait? They try to fake us out. Well, the fun part is Kuzan is going to be effective. Kuzan is going to turn up. I think Kuzan drop is the right play next turn. God, what the heck? Yeah, I would. Okay, we're getting, we're probably getting rid of Queen because we can just essentially still draw with our leader ability. We can cycle with Jack and um, what do you call it? We might just in case need that cost reduction. And plus he's a four drop too. So just flirting with the options. Yeah, they're not saving that. KO that, they get another life sadly. Uh, use leader ability, I wanna say. Oh, use your leader ability first. So you can have more options in hand. He did not use leader ability first. Okay, I would use leader ability first, draw one. See my options for Jack, see? Draw one, please have counter. Okay, that, that, that actually worked out good. Huh, man. So we have the two blockers, but we have two blockers in hand and we have a 4K pump. The, oh my God, this looks absolutely insane and absurd. Look at their hand size. Look at their life, six life. How many cards in hand? Please hover over their hand. This is ridiculous. It look like 10 cards. Oh, really? It looks like they have 10 cards in hand, but really, you're swinging for that much? Okay, well, yeah, you block with that because we got another one in our hand. I would just essentially play another blocker. Okay, we can do all that later, right? Ooh, it's a Kika Nojo. Dang, 
this looks crazy. I felt like that one play was a little trolly. I guess we're fishing for other counters. Oh, I find that brave, but I understand. Because that's going to just let us pop the Kikinoja. Let's draw one. Keep our hand size up. <laughs> this is insane. They're gaining so much life. And they got so many cards in hand. That's not even normal. They got, what, 11 cards in hand? I'm not even 100% sure if I counted that right. Okay, so I see how we're doing it. We're gently poking. So that way, just in case if they do get a trigger summon, we have Jack's ability to get rid of it. Yeah, we're going to have to keep pulling out of our deck. We're going to have to keep drawing and drawing to make sure. They, if they wanted to swing big like that, they're going to compromise their board development. We have so many swings. It's essentially going to allow us to really chip away at their life, especially if they don't dump their hand to protect themselves. They're just hoping we're, we're going to run out of blockers, but little do they know we got another one in hand. Another one in hand, and thanks to our leader ability allowing us to draw cards. Is this a 10 drop bait? Okay, okay, I, we're keeping Queen respectfully. Okay, that can let us find another blocker. So they're down five. Well, I would, if anything, just you can just uh, start your offense. Kamazo's still there to get rid of something. So you can just uh, start poking. Ooh, another blocker. Luke. Luke. Okay, so I'm guessing you're going to grab that. So that way, if they get multiple summons, okay. Essentially, that will allow you to attack with Jack. I still would attack later with Jack. I ain't going to lie to you. So many Kika Nojos, man. Careful, careful, careful. Because you already know that big mom swing you can't really protect from. That's not even normal having that many cards in hand. Oh my god. Are they like 12 or something? They probably can't even really see what's in their hand. We putting Dawn on stuff? Yeah, just keep attacking. Because if they get another trigger summon, then you play your card, get it off the board, see, like that. Oh, we can get rid of the big mom. Okay, that one card is going to allow us to get that whole board empty right now. That one card is going to let us get the whole board empty. Big Mom, yes. Kamazo Bang. Oh my God, what a play. <laughs> what a play. I'm telling you, see, when Kuzan's on the board, it's such an epic difference. And look, now we can draw with our leader ability because we need them cards. And we draw another blocker. This game is not over. Big Mom, you better develop some board presence, I, right? Because it ain't looking good for you. What a play. What a play. Let's go. Now don't take that that um don't take them uh puddings lightly because down stack swing, down stack swing. Oh man, that was such a healthy play. Oh man, that was such a healthy play. One car got rid of three things just because of our board setup. Mm. 
man. And it's funny, even though we did technically eat for Don, we, because kids on the board, we was able to just refund two and then, you know, be good for the next turn. We'll be back at our 10 Don state. Man, what a game. 15 cards in hand. What a match. A very weird match. Why even bother playing a flampe? Like, for real, that don't make sense. Your hand can't be that dead. Like, what are you playing? Yeah, we can afford to block and then... Yep. Now, to be honest, this is technically threatening. We only have two blockers. They stopped our, our okay. They stopped Jack from attacking, but we're definitely just going to use his ability. There's no need to have that many uh, attackers available on the board. Careful. Oh, our timer is counting. Well, we had two minutes and they got 12? We, we taking that long to make plays compared to them? Come on now. Listen, our jack is frozen. So, worst case scenario, you're just going to use his ability to... Uh, yeah, you just got to start swinging. He got too many cards. He can counter. So, yeah, it's just... He's going to just start countering out. You use your leader ability, help you pop something. Uh, use Jack, help you pop something. Okay, so come on now, quickly now. Here at Onigashima, use Jack's ability. Oh my god. It's just whoever has more attack power. Oh my god, they just have to rush. It's too bad we didn't have that event in our hand earlier. Because then, once again, we could have just got rid of three things. Four, I should say. That whole board would have been turned around in one card. Well, two cards, I should say. This is nuts. So we got a minute left on the clock. I wonder, like, how did it get like that? I mean, of course, because, you know, time just, time is time. But man, that's like such an extreme difference. It's like the big mom player just makes their plays instantly. Okay, they're going for game. Are they trying to? Okay, they're going to try to chip at us as much as possible. Hey, they can cook as much time on their end as they want. They got plenty of time. Swinging for nine. Urf. I, fi I figured a bunch of small attacks would be better. Okay, we're letting that go. Counter, counter, resolve. <sighs> okay. Activate. <laughs> Attack. Thirty seconds left oh this is nuts you 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 can't afford to misclick you cannot afford to misclick okay and if that's a summon we can always just pop it okay i get it now if we attack that's where the risk is at if that's a summon that oh they're defending it Woo! 20 seconds left on the clock and look at ooh, you went from 15 cards to a whole card in a hand. 
That's amazing. That's it. Yeah, that's just bodies is too strong. 20 seconds left. Looks like it's GG next turn because you kept not developing the board. Easily just block that. Attack. They take. Give them attack. Eight, seven, six, five. Goodness. GG. What a nail biter. One second left on the clock. That's crazy. Oh my God. Oh my God. That would have been a sad story if uh, you didn't get to put enough Don. Well, give us a sub for that one. A G, a G.